this is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Let's take a look at Tesla post split and see how the rally has worked out over the last year, year and a half. Uh, the stock entered what's possibly an Elliott 5 wave advance in uh, June of 2019, right around the 30 level, uh, peaking in February 2020, going through the pandemic sell off, and then taking off in this historic rally that topped out around 350 uh, in July. The stock pulled back into August and then took off in this parabolic wave which seems to have completed the trend up around the 500 level. Now, the stock sold off last week. It sold off about 26% before bouncing strongly into this bull hammer. Now, after the market closed, uh, the SP500 committee decided not to add Tesla to the SP500 index. Now, this is going to come as a blow to many speculators who are in the stock just for the chance of having uh, tracking funds be forced to buy a tremendous amount of Tesla stock. Now, the stock did uh, pull back. It sold about 6% on Friday afternoon, but it's still holding above Friday's low, and that's a big deal. Because if it breaks Friday's low, we may get a test of this support level right down here at the uh, top of the potential third wave. 350 seems to be about the level to watch because we also have the 50-day moving average moving up to this level. And this is pretty important resistance, because uh, important support, because Tesla hasn't traded below this 50-day moving average uh, since, oh, white right back here in, uh, in April when it was coming out of the pandemic sell-off. So I think if it does cut through this level, we may be looking at a much deeper correction, uh, perhaps down and filling these gaps uh, down here between 250 and around 225.